seems to be in working order. Music's on. Chat's going on. All that's left is to check and see how I look on stream. Oh, shit! Second, second, second. I'm okay. Everything is fine. Everything is under control. I am completely normal. Ah. Yeah. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that little hiccup, everybody. Nice to meet y'all. My name is Ryzeer, and I had a voice crack. Because I'm nervous as hell. I'm just a nice little alien from a little old planet known as... Well, you know, we'll get into that later. Here is my horde. I mean, my living space. It's not a horde. The hordes are a complete and utter stereotype. Uh, we don't do that. This is just... Uh, cultural norms. I promise you. <laughs> the streamer is very normal and not fucked up. Come closer. I am perfectly normal. I am not odd in the slightest. Minus the tail and the horns and the eyes and the underbite. Man, it's been... It took a while to get to this point. <laughs> Three months of non-stop work on this model. But I can do some neat little things despite my very normal appearance. For example... I have little nice-sold firearms. How do I look? Don't I look grand? All nice, stylized. Had to cheat and use a gradient because I couldn't get the exact way I wanted this drawn. <laughs> uh, I hope y'all appreciate the sound effects, too. That was, that was a really fun thing to finally get working. Got my little ching-ching tail. And we got this nice little ambient fire sound now. Fry an egg while cracking it. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't it wind up more hard-boiled? Might show off a few other things with the model that are completely normal. And not weird. At all. Stop being suspicious. <laughs> Here we have Rise, a brief history featuring Rise. That's me, in case you forgot. My name is Ryzeer. AKA Rise, just in case you forgot. My height is around 6'1", though, if I ever feel a little nostalgic, <laughs> uh, it's, I'm roughly around uh, 5,280 feet. I lost a lot of weight. Actually, that's a lie, because my weight is actually around, uh, let's see here, this is 2,17,000,000. 146,884.1 kilograms. Or if you want to put that into uh, cheeseburger gunland language, that would be 4,708, I mean 4,708 million 726,932.95 pounds. I'm a big boy. So, favorite games Kirby. I wonder what gave you that idea. Kirby, I only started off with Kirby Air Ride, and that was all I had for a while, which Kirby Air Ride's great. They need a sequel, and I wanted to, you know, City Trial, all that jazz, the stuff everybody wants. Later down the line, I wound up playing Return to Dreamland. That's where it really became my favorite franchise, though it took about a year for me to realize that. Chibi Robo. I am one of the five people that's played Chibi Robo. I grew up with that game. I absolutely adored it. Chibi Robo's pretty much dead in the water at this point because of Ziplash. Not even Scott the Waz could save it. Uh, Fire Emblem. I'm gonna be basic. My favorite is Three Houses. Golden Deer for the win. Hilda is best girl, by the way. I love my bimbo with a heart of gold. Uh, Persona 4. My absolute favorite game of all time. It came at a point in my life where I was really, really low. And it completely changed my perspective on, like, myself, on, like, so, so many things. It, it is the reason I was able to get out of that funk, and it carried me, and to this day, I constantly think about it and its impact on me. Anyways, my favorite human, he's done a lot of nice stuff. Um, he's made a little Undertale cross Kirby sprite comic that he called Underpuff. He does some art on the side every so often. He'll probably be getting into some more later. Well, soon, not later, because he's finished up a lot of busy work, totally related to his own VTuber model, which he got inspired to make because of a certain particular moth that 
really just wowed him and made him want to get off his ass and do this. Here's a quick lore summary. I'll just give you time to take it in. I hope that makes sense to everyone. So my home planet is called Jomaos. It's a constant chaotic mess of just complete bullshit and tomfoolery. Like, look at that. Okay, that isn't an actual picture of the planet. Y'all haven't discovered it yet, but that's about what you can ex expect. It's it's a clusterfuck. The weather is constantly shifting. Sometimes it's raining rocks, sometimes it's raining flames, sometimes it's flaming rocks, sometimes it's rocking flames. It's just, I wouldn't recommend it. Look what happened to poor Alan down there. Read his quote. He died, like, within 10 seconds. As for the species name, I am a Dromaean. Ah, very original name, very creative. 10 out of 10. We are good at what we do. We have some shape-shifting abilities that were pretty much evolved so we could survive on the chaotic mess known as Dromaeos. Though we're not straight-up changelings, we do have some level of base anatomy that we need to keep intact. Uh, rest assured, I look completely normal under here. It's just, you know, minute stuff to adapt to minute-to-minute -minute circumstances or rage-inducing sentences. Can you take a guess at who the 0.1% is? I bet you can't. It was me. I'm the 0.1%. Bar none, the most powerful out of all of us is our queen. And she reigned us all in and decided, Hey, this planet fucking sucks. Let's go somewhere else. And just make our home there and take... Whatever the hell we damn well please. Side effects of this kind of conquest included death and destruction of any other competing apex life that could pose a threat to us on each planet. Let's go over this again. My name is Rise. I hope you didn't forget, please. My job was to go to planets and pretty much just do that whole part where you kill all the apex life and just raise the ever-living shit out of the planet so you could have it for yourself. It's thought that the meteor is what killed the dinosaurs. But I'm just going to tell you right now, it wasn't a meteor, wasn't the Ice Age. No, no. It was me. I'm a really big dragon, remember? You see, my body works like this. I store a bunch of oxygen and synthesize my own hydrogen within the confines of my chest. And through the high pressure, which builds up heat in there... I can combine them and propel fire through my arms like you're seeing right now. It kind of allows me to fly around. I can propel it out like I'm sort of a jet plane in a way. Can make it so I can punch really hard because it can go either up. It can either go up my arm or down my arm. Depends what I need in the moment. And pretty much you can imagine it like a more yellow, uh, charismatic, and handsome ball strax. Earth just had a lot more oxygen than I was used to on other planets I would go to. And, uh, as I was entering the atmosphere, I... <laughs> I kind of lost control. And I just kept falling. And yes, this did affect the trout population. Despite this, though, and despite me knowing that I was about to turn into goop in a few seconds... And I still don't know why she did this. I was spared. And... She just left with one stipulation. I was stuck here for the rest of my life. I just took what I had and went to sleep for a long, long time. Hey, look, it's my name again. Did you forget it? I noticed, most interestingly, and I've never seen something like this before, there was these interesting little bipedal, like, I believe it was Homo sapiens. Y'all were just kind of walking about, and me, a bored, roughly 16-mile-long dragon, and tall, 60 miles long and tall, just decided to watch y'all. And I gotta say, I enjoyed what I liked. I enjoyed what I saw. I liked what I saw. I'm still learning the English language a bit. <laughs> you all managed to survive. You managed to thrive. I wasn't used to this. I didn't think this was possible. That was really, really cool. 
I start trying to push that whole shape-shifting ability to its absolute limit. I just kept condensing this shit and condensing this shit further and further and further. I was even able to synthesize the clothes I'm wearing right now. Yeah. This suit is my skin. Eventually, I reach this point, the one I'm at right now, with absolutely no weird... Dromain stuff in sight whatsoever. Minus the tail, minus the horns, minus the eyes. I have nothing weird going on whatsoever. Eh. Hmm. Sorry, thought I had a bit of a shit. That's true! That shit! Um, I, 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 ignore this. Ignore this, please. I'm, 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 I can't tell the back. I couldn't do it all. Here's, uh, this is the anatomy I had to keep intact. I, I can put the spikes back in, but that's about it. I hope y'all aren't too freaked out. I did my best. I really did. With any luck, y'all might like it, though. Y'all humans are weird these days, like, low-key worried some of y'all like this a little too much. That's kind of where we're all right now. I'm looking forward to spending time with all of y'all. Whether it be this form, this form, or this face and voice, I'm looking forward to having a good time with every single one of you. Well, I kind of want to talk about e economics on here. I want to spend some streams reading some economic literature of a few varieties. Though bear in mind, this is a very experimental thing. And we're going to just see how it goes. If you're worried about me covering a topic like this, don't worry. I'm just going to be largely reading through these books and just explaining and discussing the kind of topics they're covering. I will be very, as straight-laced and objective as I can be. My own opinions, my own philosophies, they aren't going to be having that much bearing, if any in these. At least I'm going to try to. And hell if I can't, if it proves to be that difficult for me, I'll probably just stop it. Like I said, this is extremely experimental. But if you're still not interested in this, if you really don't want to hear me talk about stuff like, oh, I don't know, the price elasticity, I will be making sure that the line between econ streams and normal Twitch streams is very hardly drawn. You will not be allowed to discuss econ stuff outside of the econ streams, and I will not really talk about econ outside of them, outside of maybe like a passing comment here or there. I will be doing my absolute best to make sure that people can get the content that they want out of me and not have to really get much of anything else. That's my personal goal. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll just be a no another normal little VTuber. Alien. Dragon. Thing. Voice cracks. Listen. Listen here, you little shit. Expect these to start closer to around, like, January or sometime in February. That's the latest, I would put it, and the earliest. But yeah, this is a big, big passion of mine, and I'm very excited to be sharing it with people. And I hope you all are excited to hear about it, too. I'm gonna try not to alienate people despite me being an alien, and I'm excited. I'm excited for it, and I hope y'all will be too. And I have nothing else to say, so just have a picture of Kyle. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Thank y'all. I'm really glad that people showed up. I'm. If you enjoyed what you saw, I really hope you follow, or whatever you have, whether it be on here or on Twitter. The faster I get to affiliate, the more flexibility I'll have in making streams more interactive, and I look forward to that. Really, I just want to be able to make these toggleable. Like, I really want to get to that as fast as possible, because that's the big reason I even made these. I wanted some kind of, like, cool interactivity like that. Y'all have a good day, take care of yourselves, and have a damn good one.